What's up guys? It's Carl here. Today on Power BI, we're going to be showing you guys how you can take your Power BI to the next level. Yes, you guessed it. We will be doing Power BI in PowerPoint. Doing Power BI in PowerPoint is going to get rid of the headache of having to do screen captures. Then if something changes or somebody requests to see a different department or a different year, you don't have to go and do another screen capture and just keep on repeating the process until you finally get it right for the presentation. Or if you have any kind of sudden changes on the day of the presentation, we just want to show some different visuals without having to actually do another screen capture, republish the Power BI or resave it or resend it. This is a way more efficient way to do it. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so if you can see here, I have my Power BI report and you can see all the different products, items, and you can see all your different charts. So we all know that in Power BI, we have the ability to look at different products individually, one by one. But if we had to create a PowerPoint, usually what will happen is you'll do a screen capture of this, a screen capture of that, and a screen capture of that. Let me just say to you guys that those days are behind us. Let's go ahead and jump right into PowerPoint to show you guys how to integrate your Power BI reports right into PowerPoint. All right, so once you open up PowerPoint, you wanna to go to Insert, and when you go into Insert, you should see this Power BI ribbon right here, which is just an add-on. You just wanna go ahead and click that. What's gonna happen is, and it's gonna ask you to paste your report URL right here. So we're gonna go ahead and paste that report URL, and then we're gonna hit Insert. Boom, guess what? Now we are Power BI-ing in style. So in addition to that, you have some additional features within PowerPoint that I wanna just go ahead and walk you through real quick to show you what all this new feature offers you. So right here is you just collapsing your toolbar. So it's just getting rid of that, that extra verbiage. If you go right here, you can add more clear data or learn more tips. So if you come here, you can also show and hide your filters. So as you see, we have the filters over there to the right. Whenever you're doing a report, usually you probably don't want to show that. So you can hide your filters there. And then you have this right here that pops out. Select, delete, and reload. The great thing about the reload is this gives you the ability to update your data real time within PowerPoint. So now there could never be a question in data. Without diving into too many details, one thing that I think is so great about this is now we don't have to create a slide for dogs and then a slide for kids and then a slide for skincare. Another great thing about this is it's really up to your own interpretation. What you can also do, you can come to this graph. Let's just say I wanted to say skincare. You can click on focus mode and now we can have a conversation about this particular bar and these particular products, what my total profit was, what my product profit was, and what my wholesale cost was. And now we can just start driving the discussion without having to click through so many different slides through your PowerPoint. Let's go ahead and take this one step further. And then I'll leave it up to you to go ahead and play around with it yourself. Let's just go into presenter mode. So now that I'm in presenter mode, imagine if we just wanted to discuss all the dog products. All we need to do now just click on dogs go right here focus mode and now we can just have a conversation about the total profit product profit and the wholesale cost specifically about the dog products in addition to that in PowerPoint you also get your tool tips so as you hover over each one you'll see your different tool tips and basically have power bi at your fingertips in PowerPoint. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Once again, this is Carl. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Before you go, if you're new to this channel, here's a chance for you to subscribe and make sure you smash that thumbs up once again. Make sure you leave some comments down in the comment section. And if you want to check out some more videos that may help you learn on the go as you grow, you can do so right now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.